And today, we're gonna talk about <clears throat> LGBTQ plus issues. That's right. That's right, Twitter, start your engines. <laughs> now, as some of you may know, about a year ago, I came out as bisexual. Woo! I tweeted out, female, colored, bisexual. Throughout my life, these have proven to be obstacles from time to time, but now I'm fully embracing them as my superpowers. No matter how many boxes you check, I encourage you to do the same. And I really do. I encourage you to do the same. Here's the thing. Coming out was truly one of the scariest things I've ever done. And I chose to come out online, which is a great way to let people know something, especially if you want to instantly know exactly how they feel about you. <laughs> but as scared as I was, I quickly realized that for every negative comment I received, I'd get 100 that were super supportive. And I was now part of this loving community that was ready to step up, support me, and fight the trolls. Yeah. <laughs> It was literally the exact same plot as Harry Potter. <laughs> it's just too bad this didn't happen. You're a bisexual, Lily. <laughs> Would've made things a lot less confusing. <laughs> now, ironically, when you have sex with women, though, you don't have to worry about Hogwarts. <clears throat> wasn't even a full year ago. I mean, this is all new to me. I'm still on my learner's permit. <laughs> Which is great, because learning's more fun when someone else is in the car with me. And they know what I am. <laughs> but let's be real. Before I even came out, there were already people in my community who just didn't understand LGBTQ plus issues. I mean, straight up, they thought a pansexual is someone who gets horny in the kitchen section of Target. <laughs> And to be fair, I'm not even sure what to call my new community. I'm confused, too. Some people use LGBT+, some use LGBTQ, some use LGBTQIA, or LGBTQQIAA. I mean, <laughs> sexuality has more flavors than Baskin Robbins. <laughs> and I'm still getting used to being out in public with another woman. I mean, I freak out. I'm like, oh my god, OK, everyone is staring at me. <sighs> and then I'll be relieved when I remember, oh, right. <laughs> I'm famous. <laughs> now, sexuality is a spectrum. And now that my place on the spectrum has shifted, I realize how many little parts of straight privilege I took for granted. Seriously. Like, there are basically zero rom-coms that reflect how I feel. I want to watch When Harry Met Sally, and Sally Met Priya, and Priya Met Rico, and Rico Met Frank. That's what I want to watch, OK? And how about music? Queer people rarely get love songs. And when they do, they're completely misunderstood. Remember when Frank Ocean first came out? People tried to label him as a gay rapper. First of all, he's bi, not gay. And he's so hot, he's also the reason I know I'm bi, not gay. <laughs> <laughs> not to mention coming to terms with being queer and being Indian. There's a lot of homophobia in the Indian community. In fact, when I came out, People told me that I'd lose all of my popularity, all of my fans, and all of my business in India. But then, I didn't. Turns out, in a place with 1.3 billion people, a lot of them don't give an F about who I give an F. <laughs> mm. And homosexual sex was just decriminalized in India, but there are plenty of places in the world where it's still a crime to be gay. It makes planning a vacation much different. Like, oh, OK. Thriving food scene, beautiful scenery. Oh, and it says here we'll go to jail for existing. OK. <laughs> it's rough out here on these streets, fam. <laughs> and you can't even have this conversation without talking about how LGBTQ plus people are disproportionately victims of violent crimes, especially if they're people of color, which is a topic for an entire monologue by someone who is far more qualified than me. But I do know that if you want to support the community, you should check out organizations like The Trevor Project. Just go to thetrevorproject.org. And if you enjoyed Love, Simon, you have to go to the site right now. Right now. Since I started this show, I've had a lot of people online say things like, why does she talk so much about being a bisexual woman of color? First of all, I talk about my dog and The Rock way more. So get your facts straight, OK? Facts. And second, no one else on Late Night can talk about it. So why wouldn't I use this opportunity to start a discussion? I mean, everybody talks about themselves. 
The majority of rap songs are about having heterosexual sex. At this point, I know more about Kim and Kanye's sex life than I'm comfortable with. <laughs> Yet no one calls out rappers for talking about who they are. Listen, you don't get to be the majority and tell me how many times I can celebrate who I am. If you have a problem with me talking about being bi or a woman of color, that's fine. You're 100% entitled to your own opinion. And you can talk all about it on your TV show. Oh, wait, you don't have one. Yeah.